I'm a creative. I wear my hair different ways. I dress different. I can, I switch it up. You know, I express myself the way that I want to express myself. I don't do what I do for a man. Okay. I do it for me. Okay. So I don't care how you feel or about makeup or whatever, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do for me. Okay. And I encourage anybody who is listening to want to do that as well. And you do that too, sir. You do that too. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Can I ask you a question, Saint? Yeah. You know how you know how you said earlier that um if a man try to tell you what to wear, not to wear no makeup on a date, it you gonna just gonna go to the other options. I think that's the problem on us men. I think it was if 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 majority of us black men saying that we do not like our women uh wearing that makeup disguising themselves, us us men collectively, us because black I'm men collectively. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. You're gonna love uh, me us men anyway. because it, you're clearly you're not doing it for you're not doing it for the man because the man is telling you, the black man is telling you, we like y'all natural look. And since you ain't trying to do it for us, we shouldn't. Uh, black, You're going to get black it. Black men should give you You're the time of the day. Eventually, Period. but not right away. Like when no, I no. feel like it. Oh, hold on, hold on, Jay Prince. Prince. How, 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 how can you say, Jay Prince, how can you say that black men collectively are doing that when there's a plethora no, no, of men who are dating women well, who wear I makeup and like wigs? I'm gonna let when my hair down around you. I feel like letting my she hair do. down. She do, but around. think about it. But but that's think, the think about it. Think about it. I think I think oh, Ruth asked an important question when she asked specifically each individual man to answer whether he would date a woman with makeup and and, and, and wigs and all that stuff. And we and it, we, we it, didn't it, get it, around it, to it. Why, this is why black women don't have respect. Black women don't respect black men enough. I do respect my black men. Would you agree? I do agree? respect my I do respect my black men and I no, love no, my no, black men. Want me to tell you how you don't? Because wow. you just you just came you just said that you just said that you change your looks based on your profession. You would give that your profession, your job, your boss that respect. But if your black man tell you no, to take I that stuff off, you just gonna exercise other options. Do you? There's two different people. You switching up what I think you're talking about what she said, but it's. When you're moving into different environments, it's it's prop it's proper etiquette to respect that environment and put on the a proper attire when you go into that place. So, so when you go around a black man environment, environment and they said they're not with that, how come you can't respect the black man environment? Well, she can go get the, she get can get go get the point, same job with the same pay with less that's with where, not without those requirements. All messes up. This is where it all this is oh where all messes God. up because there should have been a conversation in the beginning to begin with. Whatever happens to the talking stage, get to know each other before you even decide to even meet up with this person and then decide, do I want to go How on a date How can I get to know you when you disguise me yourself? How can I get the know? Let her finish her point. Let her finish her point. Hey, hey, Make sure hey, hey. we let her finish her point. It's a lot of men oh, on the phone. Oh, 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 I've never had that problem. Like, the type of guys who like me approach me, and they treat me good. I don't care about what other people prefer, don't like, or this or that. You know what I'm saying? I do what makes me happy. So, the thing is that we're taking, like, you're, we're taking, first of all, we're overcomplicating this, and we're, and then there's, People taking it personally. We understand that in your personal life, obviously people going to rock with you. If you got people that rock with you, they're going to rock with you. There's an over analyze y'all over analyzing what men say. When we say we don't like a lot of makeup, we're basically talking about transformative makeup. Okay. We're not talking about the things that make you look nat that you're already natural. You're enhancing or say, for instance, you got a blemish and you try to cover up the blemish or something like that. You got too many freckles. That's not what we're talking about. When men say we don't like a lot of makeup. We're talking about the chick that looked like this on Monday and look completely different on Tuesday. That's mm -hmm. what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. Even when we talk about like, even when we talk about okay, overweight women. Yeah, it's like we. We're not <laughs> but he said all black women and I hate black men. No, I do not. Well, let me clarify myself, Saint. Let me. Can, can I please clarify, clarify myself? Do not say it's, that. It's, 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 it's almost starting off the out the gate. Let's say well, I try to date a woman that ran that. To me, you starting off the relationship with a lot out the gate, cause everything about you, how could, like most women say, they like a real man, right? They like a man that's real to himself, honest with himself. But how can you expect a real man and a man that's solid to himself and genuine to himself, authentic to himself, when everything about you is fake? I just everything don't understand from that your because look. any man that I approach and meet is just gonna see through everything. He gonna see me. 
But he he in love. He's not in love with you per se. He in love with the. He ain't love, with the he's dis- not gonna be in love with me because he don't know me yet. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. Well, no, that's not what I'm saying. Saying what I'm saying is he in love with the image that you created. It's it's not even your regular image. So if you take all that stuff off. He might that's be called infatuation, like, oh, Jay. No, you shooting that's yourself in the foot. No, you giving her, you giving her, you giving her a W by saying that, Jay right. Prince. Yeah. The man right. is not in love with her, her <laughs> image, bro. It's it's uh, the attraction comes from the image, the impression, but the, the, the other details that that cause you to fall in love and get that genuine connection is y'all bond and y'all compatibility and how y'all I can understand that, that. But with men first start off with looks, right? So. Let's just say she come out looking this way. That's what we fall in love with out the gate. That's what make us approach her, approach her from the jump. And then, and then, after that's- she take all that stuff off and she look completely different, that's gonna be like that's gonna rub a lot of men's shoulders. You know like, so, Jeffrey, you can't tell that a woman. You can't tell that a woman is. You know what? You can't yeah. tell that a woman that you just went in, into the bedroom with oh, no, complicated with makeup. And hair on and lashes and all that. You can't st- tell that that stuff is a prop that th- that stuff was fixed so she can attract you. So well, some women, I, I, well, we some women look different though. Some we're not. We, 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 literally, literally, we literally breaking it down bit by oh, bit. Oh, no, let's. I'm gonna ask this. Hold on, hey, Prince, hold on, hey, Prince, hold on. Same. Do you wear transformative makeup? No, I'm not really. And we're not even talking about I you. I don't even wear eyeshadow. You were not wear even blush. talking about you. I don't we're wear even... contour, none of that. I don't that image, so that image of you right now in your in your profile image, that's not transformative. That's, that's not me. That's my book. No, I'm talking about the face. That's not me. That's not a picture of me. That's my book. That's a picture Man, of my book. These women be looking like AI okay. characters. That, so, that, that, that is a, a that's a cartoon that, character. You know what book. I was Oh you my god, saying? what the fuck can am I saying? Can I say something? Can I say something? You can go to my page. Yeah. After Roof, we're gonna something. we're gonna jump into the super chats real quick. <laughs> can after Roof, we're gonna jump into the super chats. Can I say something real quick? All right. Some women, like most women, okay. There are some women that look different with, with makeup, but a lot of the women um that wear makeup, some of them, a lot of them look the same. They don't look different with, with, with the makeup. Like they still look pretty without makeup. Because Ooh. some uh, listen, listen. A lot of because sometimes I be We're talking, not about, talking about them. The, some of the let, women let that finish. need to wear makeup don't wear makeup. Is what I'm saying. I'm just saying like, but you're but he's making the assumption that every woman that wears makeup looks different. But some of them are no, still he's pretty not. without makeup. No, he's not. He's talking about a specific group of women he who wear trans- y'all. Women. No, he That's he said y'all black, black women, bro. Y'all oh, women. just because he says I y'all say doesn't. Y'all women. Well, I was specifically talking y'all. about the ones that do this stuff on the record. Okay, so talk like that from the beginning of the sentence. So why are you taking this so over. personal? That's why people make right, it personal. We do the same thing to them, Sweeney. Whenever I'll they say, whenever they lump us in a category, we do the same thing to them. So I thought I said earlier, I don't mind the lip gloss and stuff like that, but I don't like no. I don't think lip gloss. You done change the whole. The, the, the like, problem, the problem with your your argument, Jay Prince, you're saying black men is trying to do that. We're trying to tell you, black women, we don't. You gotta understand. Understand, it's 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 a losing battle to try to police a group, a mass of black women, instead of just focusing on your own woman. So now that you're a married man, you can exempt yourself from this this un, this losing battle. I still have the conversation because I have daughters. I have daughters gonna be. Yeah, but you gotta understand. Me. There's wait, men wait, out wait, there wait, that's gonna wait, love them no, hold, hold with on the makeup. Was, hold, hold on, once. Yeah. this this the point that you're missing. I have daughters. I have nieces. And little cousins that's gonna be looking up to these women uh, from these social media accounts with all of this stuff caked up on, and what they is what they are teaching them is that their natural self is not beautiful. Hold on, wait. I thought you were beautiful. married. You got the, you got the hey, wait, Jay, wait, 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 Jay Prince. Then you just say you just get hold on. That. Then you just get married, Jay Prince. Yeah. So how can you sit here and say that your young daughters are gonna look up to IG models and all this shit? You got a wife in the household. But this, but what I'm saying is, we all was kids, right? And even though we had no, parents, no, that, that's not how it works, bro. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. Even though we had parents that that we that taught us one thing, but the moment we get outside out, out, at school or outside in the streets, our peers become our influencers. Tupac and it was Ice Cube, and we all want to be a gangster of Jews. 
They parents no, wasn't in their life. But, but, but that's not what a lot no, of our this, parents. This mother was on crack. You using the wrong examples, bro. No, but, no, what I'm what I'm saying is outside sources can't influence you. I'm you not know? arguing that, but I'm saying and that that's the, what I'm the, saying. Out, the household and the standard and the principles you instill in your children trump all of that. What you're saying is that you're already it lost. It don't and you got a wife, and, and you got a wife, and you're in a in your a father in the household. But if we the, argue this day in and day out, that is important to have a father in two parent household, and you have that. And basically, what you're saying is, even though I have this, IG is going to win. I truly believe because think about a bruiser. A lot of us okay. did stuff okay. that we weren't raised to do, right? Because of outdoor influences, right? The reason why you see a lot of you young giving you giving like, your kids an excuse, and you don't even know. No, it. hold on, hold on. But, the reason why look at look at uh Dwayne Wade uh um Gabriel um uh, he allowed wait, that wait, wait. damn <laughs> look at them he won he came in the game being straight right and then where does his son want to get out want to change his gender from outside sources because that's the that's the trend now so all the, the kids is no it was an inside source that was them. How right. that was Brother, an inside source off with, great person. I want to ask you Dwayne something. Wade don't dress like that. Will Smith it doesn't matter. Like that. It doesn't matter. Dwayne Wade approved of it. That's an internal. Dwayne Wade do dress like that. Will Smith like didn't that. start off like that. Where he get the idea? You're, from, you're missing it. You say you say, you're trying to argue that the outside had something to do with it. Yeah, I get that. But yeah. the household trumps that, and Dwayne Wade it signed off on it and stamped it. No, 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 Bruiser. Will Smith, son, right? Will Smith don't dress like that. If you if you sit up here oh. saying Jada picking Will Smith was totally different from what they look look will look Jada trying to do, right? Same with Dwayne Wade. Same with a lot of people in America nowadays. Did they parents not even dress like that, walk like that, even even that? But all of a sudden, these kids is picking up these ideas from where. They approve it. The parents have yeah, to Yeah, but the parents approve like it. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Up in here real quick, because I hear people saying the parents approved it. I'm going to be real, Roof. I don't know your background, Saint. I know a little more about yours. You cannot control everything that your kids do. So what you want to do is set a good example for them and then hope that the world don't corrupt them, right? Oh. Thing is, women are the biggest consumers, flat out. Everything is targeted to women because y'all spend all the money. And that's like, can we agree to that? So being with that being said, when I'm you see all these myself, different ads that it's pushing, if we pushing, if that's if we're pushing this, you know what I'm saying, constantly to our women, and they are thinking that it looks best to have a bunch of makeup on and in a non-natural state in a European look. You dig what I'm saying? That's going to take a presidence, regardless of what you're teaching them at home. You know what I'm saying? You can't control how they think they want to look. When they go out to school, they're going to see their peers. What are their peers doing? How are their peers dressing? The our kids yeah. don't dress like we dress. You know what I'm saying? And they got nothing to do with how you raise them and teach them. You dig what I'm saying? That but you, you can tell them all it. you want. It does have something to do. We, I'm talking about the scenario. Hey, we, just we're talking about tangible things that actually happen. And you're trying to use a theory so to Trump that. Who's using theory? I'm talking about these things already I'm took talking place. Actuality. So here's so Bruce, the I'm you're, talking about, you're talking about if you're you're using hypotheticals, you're saying if they go out in, in society and it and it has leverage over and sway over their influence, they're gonna do what society tells them to do. We're not arguing. No, that's not what I said. I said they're going to find their own way. And I'm not speaking from hypotheticals. I'm speaking from experience. Well, that, that's I'm what I'm saying. Exactly. We're not arguing that we're not arguing that they're not going to find their own way. The argument we had between the argument I had between Jay Prince, given the scenarios he, he displayed or he presented, was that that was an internal approval. The parents in the household stamped off on the behavior and so, the changes between these kids. So, so, Bruiser, I got a question. So if your son grow up and he come in there and say, "Dad, I want to be my, I want to be a woman and I want to get a set change. He want to get he cross dressed and everything. What are you telling me that you influence that? No, that's not that's not influence. That's me. That's what I'm outside saying. influence. But that's just, this is what's happening. But 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 I, listen, I'm not arguing that. But the the thing is, the thing what you're trying to say is he's going to come in there with a dress on. And and because society told him that it's okay for him to put a dress on, and he's gonna be able to stay in my house. Oh, so you're gonna kick him out? He's not gonna wear that. I'm not gonna put him out, but that's no, not don't get canceled, bruiser. 
listen to what I'm. You gotta listen. To, you gotta pay t- closely attention to what I'm saying. Because if he, my kids, what, is, what, my kid, I have. Gonna no, tell you if he I have pres- that, listen, you listen. have to let them. Uh, no, I, agree. I have principles it. and standards. I don't have to allow society to raise my children. Absolutely. I Wait, have what, principles and standards in my household. Will, when Will, they leave the household, 13, listen so to what I'm saying. When they leave my well, mate, they can't hear us when we both talking. When, when they when the cool. when the children leave my principles, I mean leave the household, they're free to do whatever they want and make the but decisions they the, want. The, the, when the, they're the, in yeah. my house, they have to abide by my rules that I set. Rules that if he's 13 years old, you can't kick him out on the street. I didn't say you're not listening right, to nothing so I'm you, saying. He, I'm I'm never, is, Jay, listen, if he Jay, Jay Prince, listen. 13 years old, Jay Prince, listen. Woman, did I, I never do? said any Jay Prince, I never said anything about putting my kids out. So what you gonna do? How you gonna if your 13 year old son come to you and say he wanna dress like a woman and be a woman, just like Will Smith Will Smith and them son was 12, 13, uh Dwayne Wade's son, 12 and 13. What could you actually do at that point? Let me respond. Let me respond. Let me respond. I say, son, you can do whatever you can make whatever choice you decision you want. But in this household, these are the rules. And if you want to break them, then you have to wait till you leave the household. And when he graduates high school and go off on his own or go to college, he can go and put a dress on. He can go get a change. Can I speak? Because please? now he's not under my covering anymore. All right, go ahead, Ruth. All right, so I agree with Bruiser. Um, you have uh, you have to even now at uh, four years old, I make sure my son knows he's a boy. You know, I ask him, you know, just because I know that they're they're pushing these things on YouTube. They're pushing these things. So you have to know your child and you have to be able to guide them and steer them. And if you grow them up the right way, they're going to go the right way. OK, that's what the Bible you can, says. Like, the you hope, you that, hope they are. You hope yeah, we can't will. control them. We can't control them. But you, I'm not going to be a. Like they think they can go out at 14 and wear booty shorts. I'm not going to allow that. You know what I mean? I understand they can sneak it out, but I'm not going to stamp it. You see what I'm saying? So I, back to the makeup situation. I think that if men would just say, hey, this is the woman I would marry. She wears natural makeup. She wears light makeup or no makeup. This is the woman I married. This is the woman I hope like put on the pedestal or I cherish. And I'm not over here liking uh, Instagram uh, thought pictures and all of that and they got heavy makeup on or whatever like if you guys are rewarding the right behavior that's all you need to do shaming women it doesn't work it, I'm sorry you can say what you want but I, people have to say it so many times before I, I have to even grasp it because I'm like why do I have to you know make these changes for this person when I don't see them I'm not changing his appearance I'm not telling him how to dress himself now if your woman wants you to change up your whole wardrobe would you do that would you would you allow her to tell you and dictate to you what you can wear i don't like those jeans i don't like that shirt don't wear this lose some weight this and all that so this is kind of how women feel like do you want me to answer that no or was that a philosophical question that was philosophical um yeah because y'all don't want y'all if she said you got to wear this certain style of clothing i don't like what you wear I, i don't think you dress nice enough for me then you know that's what it is. But if you see a woman like to Saint's point, if you see her with makeup on, just leave her alone. And you, if you don't want a woman with makeup on, but it's just like if you don't have a, if that's not your preference, you don't got to yell at the people that don't that, that Ruth, don't do that. Ruth, part of the, the problem. Pro- oh, you got it, Sweeney. The problem is, is that people aren't getting with each other. The marriage rate is almost through the floor. People aren't dating. People aren't going outside. People don't want to deal with one another. And this can be one of the reasons why. So when women ask men, why aren't y'all doing X, Y, Z? And a man comes up here and tells you, hey, here's a list of things that y'all are doing that we do not like. For you then to say... Stop smashing them if that list is that important. Let them finish. Let them finish. Hold on, wait. The thing is, the thing is, is that you're... I'm not going... Y'all are asking why men aren't doing stuff. Y'all asking why they're not taking you on dates. Y'all asking why they're not approaching you. I'm talking about (laughs) women in general, not you specific. Stop taking it personal. Okay, I'm sorry. (laughs) Jesus. We get asked these questions all the time on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram. It's popping up all over the place. So when we come out, JR puts up a video. We have a conversation about it. It's about the question in the video. So when we start answering the question, then it's told, then we're told, hey, don't tell us that. We like what we do. I bump what you feel about it. And why are you telling me if you're married? Or why are you telling me if you this? 
The reason why is because the question is being asked. So now that y'all, so now that the question is being asked and men are speaking, if you don't want to listen, that's fair. But to sit here and tell men, hey, look, you need to shut up about what y'all want about from us. Why? Why? Do, I'm just, I'm not that's, telling. You. That's part of the reason why I think, like he said, the marriage rates are are as low as they are. Is because it's sad. Hold on, it's sad because women don't take into account what men want because the first thing they say is they don't care they do it for themselves women also public. right now have a hard time with the fact of realizing that it is a competition when you are you should be competing for men i see women out here say it all the time oh now i'll let my girl go i'm not gonna compete for a man and that's probably the wrong attitude to have because it's always going to be a competition and in order to win that said competition you should probably take heed to some of the things that men that you may be desiring are speaking about because they will tell you something that could potentially help you win that so that uh that that competition that i spoke about i'm telling you a lot of women think they shouldn't compete and that's part of the problem. They're so the worried about is, doing their own thing. And the thing is, hold on, Jay. Hold on, Jay. Hold on, Jay. Right hold on, Jay no, no, no. Yeah. Don't address the chat. Hold on. No, no, no. I'm not asking. No, it's a good point. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And the thing is, is that the when y'all say don't deal with those women, that's exactly what they're doing. That's why they're not approaching y'all. That's why they're not talking to y'all. That's why they're not marrying y'all. It's because of that very reason. They're taking your advice. They're not dealing with you, but then you come back to the congregation and say, "Well, why aren't y'all doing it?" I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> that would be a point. For fuck's but sake! But but here, the here's the thing: they were. I'm not preaching to the choir. This is a panel with hundreds of people watching. Can I say something? All I can do right is be that the the model that you guys are asking for natural makeup. You're asking for no makeup. That is what I do. But I'm telling you. There's a so way. we're not talking to you. We're we we not talking to you. I, even if, if I can't get them to do it, how do you feel like you're going to get them to do it? They don't listen because to you. Because you're not listen dating them. You're, you're not trying to date them. You're, you're not, not a you're man. Not you're don't listen to men. You, you should be on problem. our side. Hold on. If you don't do, do it, we're with you. you should be. Ruth, all we can do is answer the question. That's what so, we so did. I, let me say this Take it or leave it. I lose my thought. So this all this just explains that they don't they don't look at black men like they leaders, right? Because two things I want to say. Somebody said that broke, broke men focus on makeup and stuff, but they just got done saying that they just got done telling <laughs> us that, that they can't go to their professions because uh, man, how come I, every time I speak you interrupt? <laughs> but they said broke men focus on makeup and stuff like that, meaning that black men focus, broke black men focus on cry about makeup, but yet uh, she just got done saying that they can't go to a profession where white folks at wearing their regular hair. So that's one. And then a lot of times when I see black women that wear all these weaves, when they divest and get a white a white man, they be natural as hell. What? So mm. that, that goes to show you that they just don't view you black men as worthy enough. We are they the white men is the man that they would do anything for and they expect for us to tolerate their we their toilets, right? We there from we we only here for them when they where they take a shit. They don't look at us like black women don't look at black men like the the special prize men. Twenty twenty. Wait wait hold on. Let me get his ass. Cool. Okay. Well, y'all y'all want us to accept I'll everything that y'all, y'all do. I, I have defended black men and I do it all the time. But why y'all don't never defend us? Like some of y'all is good, maybe two of y'all. So you telling me? So you telling me you ain't heard nothing? You ain't heard me try to defend Saint Louis. You heard me try to defend you, right? No, you did. You did great. Today. What you say? Can you can you say it again? I would love to hear that. <laughs> He did stand up for us. For a they lot don't need no that. defending. We just have, we need an honest conversation. But I'm just no, no. I I, 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 I I haven't said like anything because what you're saying is kind of sort of right. But whenever you say you kind of a little bit fuzzy on the uh, natural natural uh, women going natural when they date a white man, they do. Uh, Roof, I, I put up the black women don't gotta appeal to European standards. 